Hello friends, today we are going to read Clean Cap. The author is Kanchan Banerjee, the illustrator is Deepa Balsavar and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Clean Cat. So what do you see in this picture? It's a cat. And is it clean? Why is it clean? How is it clean? Let's read the story and see. This is my house. Ma, Pa and China also live here. So what do you see in this picture? You see the same cat and you see this girl. I think this is China. So the cat is the one who is telling the story and the cat is saying, this is my house. It's the cat's house. And Ma, Pa and China, the family, right? That also live there. China is this girl and her parents. The best chair in the house is for me. But sitting on the lap is even better, isn't it? Here you can see Gina, the girl, and her friends. And this is the cat. Looks like the cat is having a lot of fun because everybody wants to play with the cat. Give her toys. This is a mouse toy that this boy is giving the cat. And pet her, play with her. And the best chair in the house is saved for the cat. And sitting on the lap is even better. So here the girl has the cat on her lap. Isn't it better? China is my best friend. I wait for her to return from school. So China is the cat's best friend and she goes to school. So every day when she comes back from school, the cat is sitting there waiting for her because she likes China. I keep myself clean without water. I do not need a bath like Tommy. So how does the cat keep herself clean? See, she is licking herself. She is you know, cleaning herself by licking herself. And I don't know if you have seen a cat do this. They do this all the time. They are sitting somewhere and they lick themselves clean. That's how they keep themselves clean. They don't like water. They don't want water, but they just lick themselves clean. Whereas dogs, this dog is Tommy, they have to be given a bath. Here is the tub with water and the dog is being dragged to the water to give him a bath. But cats don't need that. Shh, don't tell anyone that I am hiding here. One, two, three. Got you. Here you can see the cat is hiding around this corner. And what is here? A mouse. And the mouse is eating some food. And the cat is hiding, waiting to pounce. And then the cat jumps on the mouse and kills it. Got you. Ma shouts at me when I bring some tasty food from the garden. So what does the cat do then? She brings the dead mouse from the garden to the house. And of course, China's mother shouts at her. Who wants a dead mouse in the, in the house? No. So her mother shouts at the cat. I can climb trees. I can jump. I know all the shortcuts here. So here's the cat having fun exploring. Cats can climb trees. They can also jump pretty far. And this cat is having fun exploring the house. Sanju lives nearby. He teases me. It makes me very angry. So here is Sanju. It looks like this is the neighbor child and he is teasing the cat. He's making faces at the cat and the cat doesn't 
like it. The cat gets angry. How can you tell from this picture that the cat is angry? Can you see? See, first, the cat is putting out her hand with all the claws. You can see here, right? The claws are out, you know, and the cat can scratch the boy. So the cat is threatening the boy, trying to scare the boy away by showing the claws. Also, can you see the back of the cat? See how all the fur, the skin of the cat, the hair on the cat's back is standing up like this. That is another way the cats like to show that they are angry or upset. And you can see the tail. The tail is also standing tall, upright. So this is how you can tell that a cat is angry or upset. Please tell Sanju that the tiger is from our cat family. We have sharp claws. So tiger and cat are in the same cat family. Tigers, lions, cats, they are all the cat family. And tigers have claws. Tigers can kill people, right? So the cat is reminding us and reminding Sanju that they are all the same family. They have sharp claws and can scratch you. My friends sometimes make a lot of noise at night. By then, I am quietly in bed. So here you can see the cat is happily sleeping on Gina's bed. And outside, what do you see? This is a pet cat a house cat and these are wild cats they are not living in somebody's house what do they do at night they jump at each other and they make loud noises screeching noises have you heard a, a cat cry at night try to see if you can hear them in this story you read all about this cat and how she keeps herself clean and what all she does during the day. So now let's read a little bit more about the habits of cats. Tails can speak. Did you know how animals and birds tell us something by using their tails? A dog wags its tail when it is happy. A cat puffs up its tail when it is angry. Often we say, as clean as a cat. This is because cats do not like water. Yet they are always keeping themselves clean by licking themselves. So here you can see in this picture, this dog and you see how it's wagging its tail. You, you would have seen this in dogs. They wag their tails fast when they are happy. For cats, what they show with their tails is when they are angry, the tails are straight up and puffed up. Puffed up meaning you, you can see that, uh, you know, the fur, the hair is bigger than it is normally and often we say as clean as a cat. Cats don't like water. They don't like to swim. They don't like to go into the water. So they don't take baths, but they keep themselves clean. They like to do that. How do they do that? By licking themselves. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are claws, nails of an animal, puff up, make bigger. Try these questions. Do you have a cat near your home? Study its habits and write about what you see. What about other animals or birds? Pick another animal or bird to study and write about its habits.